Lions TV, full time from the city ground via my spare room. It finishes Nottingham Forest 3, Millwall 1. I am absolutely fucking raging. And I'm going to try to not just be stupid, screamy, shouty. I'm going to try and validate what, I'm, what I want to say. But my mind is so fucking clouded at the minute. I cannot think about anything else. One win in 15 games, no other manager would survive that. He has to go, and he has to go now. It is done under Gary Rout. Whether you like my big, stupid, fat, horrible head or not, every week on the camera, whether you agree with me or not, unfortunately, whether you like it or not, I know my football. And I could see weeks ago, weeks ago, it was done under Rowett. There is no way back for him. It is just completely stale. And it's nothing against Gary Rowett. I don't know Gary Rowett. I don't fucking want to know Gary Rowett. He is a manager. He understands the implications of football, especially modern day football. It is a results business. He has to go. It is as simple as that. Everyone, I can't believe the protection for people saying, oh, you're, you're, you just want views. He is not a Millwall fan. He is not from the area. He is a manager. He's had other clubs before he came to Millwall, and he'll probably get other clubs after he goes. He has got to go. There is no longevity in Rowett being our manager. He came in with Newell Harris's players, by the way. People saying it's the players. That's the same players, pretty much, that got a result there last season. He went to three at the back, the three, the two, the two, two, one, and it was a new formation, which he incorporated with the players, a new, a new platform, the way they started playing, they expressing themselves, popping the ball, and it worked. It worked. But now it stopped working because what happens is everyone knew that was our new formation, and everyone knew one of our very, very few threats was Jake Cooper from Set Pieces. Teams with their analysts these days, the, the amount of in-depth analysis that goes into it, find a way to counter that. Now they've countered that, he has no fucking idea what to do, and he has to go. It's an absolute disgrace. And I can't believe the protection he's getting from our fans. Why? Why the fuck do you honestly care about Gary Rowett that much? Because as Danny rightly said in our live stream the other night, if the shoe was on the other foot and he was doing well, do you think he wouldn't fuck off at the first given opportunity? He has got to go. He won't walk because he's too fucking stubborn and he thinks he's too good for us anyway. He has got to get sacked. John berrelson has got to grow a pair of bollocks and sack him now because for those saying it's going to cost us too much, we'll end up in the fucking League One and that's going to cost us more. That's going to cost us more and undo some brilliant work that the club have done over the last five years. For those who are saying he's got a transfer window, how many clubs, you, how many players do you think we're going to get? How many players do you think we're honestly going to fucking get? I sat there Tuesday and I said nothing. I was happy with it. Yeah, it's a point. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, I can't fool it. We have no level of consistency. We've won one game at home all season. And that's, you know, that's not so bad if you win your away games. But we can't win. We've got nothing. We've got nothing. We sat back and allowed today, not in a forest, just to keep coming at us, keep coming at us with no desire to get forward, with no desire to, 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 um, to compete. The right was on the ball. Sammy Ayobi scores from distance. 1-0, thanks for coming. Then he finally decides to send Max Smith on. And the club have got some fucking front as well, by the way, because they tweet an hour before the game, who remembers last time he was there? And this man, this big man, did this. When they fucking point his tweet about Matt Smith. And I nearly retweeted that and went, any chance he can get on the pitch today? And I what? Matt Smith is a, is a fucking big unit that can't run. But what he can do is score goals at a club that cannot score goals. And as soon as he come on, we changed the way we was playing, started getting crossed into the box. Okay, we get caught on the break, over committing. It's a good goal from Amiobi, yes. But we should never have been in that situation. Why do we wait to go 1-0 down before we decide to fucking get some bollocks and turn up? The third goal is an absolute disgrace. And if you ever need any further proof that things are completely gone under this absolute clown in charge, a terrible weak corner, front post, somehow their player decides to get in front of four or five of ours and scuffs one into the net and it's 3-0. Then what does he do? He brings on a middle type player. And for those pricks amongst you out there that are saying Ben Thompson isn't good enough in this division, I will once again, although I'm shouting, I still feel what I'm saying is valid. Please tell me at what point you feel Ben Thompson hasn't done well for us in this division. Because he come back from Pompey and did it and helped us stay up. And now every time he comes on, he looks like he's got more bollocks about him than anyone. And he proves that once again. He done more today in 10 minutes than Ryan Woods done in 10 months. Cross into the box. Their keeper flaps at crosses all day. Punches it down. Ben Thompson, chest, volley, powerful, central, through a crowd of players. And you know what? When he scored, yes, he smiled. It was a consolation. Yes, he was happy. But, you know, you wouldn't usually be that happy at scoring a consolation goal 3-0 down at Forest. I think, and I fucking hope as well, that Ben Thompson thought, do you know what? Fuck you, Rowett. That is the final nail in your coffin. Because it should be. But it won't be because people will still want him in charge. One win in 15, one win at home all season. Get him out of our club before we fucking get relegated. Gary Rowett out. Fuck off.